Canada's military is preparing for a war in Eastern Europe it hopes never happens. They think there could be up to another five enemy companies just north of that that are essentially massing and preparing for their follow-on attack. This is a simulated battle on an army base north of Riga, Latvia. Uh, engaged and destroyed. Canada has 450 soldiers in Latvia as part of a battle group meant to deter any Russian aggression against the three Baltic states, which are also NATO members. This is the first war game of their deployment. It's a scenario that has troops dug into trenches in defensive positions. Does it feel real? Uh, yeah, as, as real as it can, you know, without, uh, without a two-way range, you know, so without rounds flying both ways, of course, yeah. Nearby, battle group leaders respond to the mock attack. With the Charlie. The idea behind this so-called certification exercise is for senior NATO commanders to give the stamp of approval to Canada's mission here, saying it's ready for combat. And to no one's great surprise, the answer is expected to be yes. Although this team has been together for a very short period of time, uh, what they've achieved to date is uh, impressive. Maybe so, though we didn't see much simulated combat today. The military's own crew posted some slightly more dramatic video from yesterday, which the presumed invaders, the Russians, don't like. Are they preparing to war? Maria Zaharova is the chief spokesperson for Russia's foreign ministry. There is no other possibilities to interpret what is going on in Baltic republics as a very provocative actions. NATO sent its troops here after Russia's annexation of Crimea prompted fears that something like that could happen to Latvia. But Zaharova says the premise behind the mission is false. You can convince people in anything, in anything. And that's what uh, the Western propaganda is doing. Of course, the Russians are masters at staging their own war games. As Canada's scenarios were going on in Latvia, this was happening at an army fair near Moscow. Lots of tanks and blasting and incredible firepower. In fact, some simulations have suggested if the Russians did launch a lightning strike, the NATO troops in Latvia wouldn't have a chance. Chris Brown, CBC News in Camp Adige, Latvia.